After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head under lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. I think the first person to do something like this, I don't think anybody else is crazy enough to do it. I, I mean, this is new territory. Listen, I've done every drug you can think of, and I have never been affected like this by anything. Wow. What's going on, man? Uh, bro, I drank um, a month's worth of coffee in a day. So I don't know what's going on. What they arrest you for? The police arrested me for trespassing and petty larceny. And then they locked me in a cell by myself for 30 days. Justin was in a side cell when I came in this morning, and we went and put another individual in there with him, and immediately Justin wanted to get into a fight with him. I take him out. It, it seemed to me like he was on drugs, but uh, talking to him, it seems like he's spent the last 40 days in the Henderson jail, just got transported over here, so I highly doubt he's on drugs. He, he told me he drank uh, 40 days worth of instant coffee. He's been saving up the whole time he was in jail. Seems pretty, pretty hyper. So uh, we're going to put him in the, the restraint chair, let him cool down, and. Maybe the doctor and the psych nurse talk to him. I'm making history here. You guys are watching history. <laughs> I drank a month's worth of coffee in a day. A month? No, not that. No. Cheers. No. Thank you. Cheers. Hey, can I have some? <laughs> you don't need any more coffee, Justin. I need some. I mean, I'm going to come down. I don't know what the come down's going to be, but I know one thing for sure, two things for certain. It ain't going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, everybody always complains about the police. The only people that complain about the police are the criminals and the criminals' families. <laughs> right? 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 Yeah. Justin's done nearly his two hours in the chair. We're going to take him down to release inside, throw him in a cell by himself, let him cool down in there, maybe burn off some of this energy he got from drinking all that coffee. Hey, can I have a soup? <laughs> yeah, but breakfast is coming real soon, or dinner. Oh, okay. Lunch time. I hear that train coming. It's rolling around again. And I ain't seen the sunshine since. Little Johnny Cash. I don't know when. Stuck in CCDC. Where time keeps dragging a lot. I hang my head and cry. Wait, quote the vulture nevermore. Back, back vulture, off my cell door. Did we ever have anybody else in town who got 2186s? We have a sheet. 21 trespasses in North Vegas. Okay, calm down. Listen. My call sign is blackjack. Listen, Justin, we're going to take you out of this chair. Okay. We're going to put you in this cell. Okay. Don't start kicking or banging in there, because there are only other options to put you back in this chair. Okay. I will not start kicking and banging. I think I might be coming around. They asked me what branch of the military is served in. The tweaker paramilitary. Oh, there you go. Oh. All right, all the way into the wall. Hey, I did my two hours well, right? Try to sleep it off. I don't think you're going to sleep for a couple days, but try to sleep it off. 45 days worth of instant coffee. What shot? All I need is one shot of coffee. One drink, one drink, coffee. One drink, one drink. How you feeling? Uh, well, coffee wore off a little bit? Yeah, you know, I don't believe I'm under the influence of the coffee anymore. You know, I'm just going to stay away from the Colombian horse. I do methamphetamine on a daily basis. I, I, I go through an eight ball a day. When's so, the last time you did meth? Meth? Whoa, whoa, 30 days ago. I've been in Henderson, remember? 30 days. Right. But I know one thing's for sure, two things for sure. I can't handle the coffee. Apparently not. Okay, I can handle the crystal meth. Woo. Because if you say I, so. No, listen to me. I'm always on crystal meth. No one's ever seen me sober. The Blue Mule, the Blue Mule Saloon, they kicked me out because my girlfriend, Angel, tried to have me killed. The Blue Mule's like, no, you're out of here, you no know, good tweaker. They're like, 
You're cool when you're sober. I'm like, whoa, cool when I'm sober. You've never seen me sober. You gotta stop using that meth, man. Oh, no, I don't. Stop I gotta the stop the coffee. drinking that coffee. Stop drinking no, the no, coffee, no, no. stop the meth. I stop drinking the coffee. The meth's fine. Stay out of jail. I don't know what the coffee's done. Okay, but the meth's right. fine. The meth I can handle. I do my meth and I go to my slot machine. Okay, I do my coffee and I'm cracking. Well, stay off that coffee then, Justin. No, stay stay the in coffee. here and we'll uh, we'll let you calm down a little more. Wait. Justin, lay off the coffee. I'm not gonna buy no more coffee. No, no Anyone would think he's probably high on some illegal drugs, but I confirmed it. He was in the Henderson jail for the last 30 days, so he really is just high on coffee. We'll reevaluate him a little later today. Back to stranger than fiction. I'm really just high on coffee. No, only uh, that camel orange color. Oh, whatever you want to call it. Camel orange. Hey, you want to know where your car went? North Las Vegas. Are you really going to drop me right here? It went to North Las Vegas. It's just a car. Yeah. So how do, you, how do you get tickets to the fight? Well, you said you lost those tickets or something stolen from you. Well, that's from a long time ago. It's, uh, I just bought a, uh, 2015, one of two Toyota Prius. $48,000, one off. Signing for your watch and stuff, sir. Wow, that's expensive Toyota Prius. Well, they're not cheap, but they're pretty badass. Right, yeah. Um, where? Right. I mean, you went from a Prius to a Corvette Stingray. That's a I did job. not go from anything. My Prius is still my Prius. OK. You know, and I still have my Corvette. They're just cars. We're going to see the nurse? Boy. We good, sir, oh, for going to see the nurse? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, Richard, let's Thank go God. see the nurse today, sir. Right. Have a seat in the blue chair, sir. The one with the beautiful right duct tape? Yes, sir. So one misdemeanor charge you're being charged with is going to be active physical control of your Corvette while under the influence of controlled substances, oh, well. which cause you to drive reckless in the mall. And the reason that would be is the man that called in yeah. that you almost ran over, you were doing the donuts in the parking lot, he called and complained about you. I know. That's why you're getting charged with DUI. It's not going to be a DUI. I won't get a DUI. Oh. All right. Wait a step for me. Walk out this way. You're going to come right over here. And right where the number two is, have a seat right there. Just wait for the nurse. And she'll be just a few minutes. Then we're all adults. Hey, Officer Lathrop, how are you doing? What's going on with Richard today? We got a call today over at the uh, Boulevard Mall of a gentleman in a white Corvette doing donuts in the parking lot. He almost ran a pedestrian over. Oh. I went over and uh, met up with Richard. Told me he was really upset. He was at the casino last night uh, with some uh, friends that he met doing some uh, cocaine, and uh, they robbed him. He actually had four floor seats, and these people uh, gave him drugs, helped him get high, and then stole, stole these stuff. floor seats. Subsequently, we ended up arresting him for uh, DUI and reckless driving. Hopefully he's going to be cooperative for you up here, but uh, there's a few distractions in the jail that are kind of causing him yeah, issues. Yeah, we're pretty full today. I'm a criminal. They're cops. I run, they chase. Well, then stop being a criminal. Why? Well, then keep getting chased. <laughs> Figure it out. It's SOS. <laughs> What's it mean? Same old all the time. No. SOS. Stuck on stupid. Definition of insanity is doing the same over and over and over and over again and expecting different results. Yeah, but... Yeah, but... I got kids that don't know I do drugs. I got houses that pay for themselves and they pay for my kids. So the only thing I missed out... Why are you proud there. of that? Why are you proud of your kids not knowing you do drugs? What's to be proud of that? You shouldn't do... You shouldn't know. You shouldn't do drugs! Yeah, you should. Oh. <laughs> I'm one of those people. You have no My idea. Yeah, you're one whole... of those. And do they do drugs? Not that I know. Not that you know. Why do you not know? Because you're too busy in here? I'm not always in here, bro. It sounded like you just said you were. Stop <laughs> being so stupid. Gosh, dude, you're just yell, stupid. Bro. I'm right here. Because I'm passionate, because I've lost my family for 31 years married. And you're an idiot. Mr. Richard. Yes. Mr. Richard, you're going to have to calm that down. You I'm sorry. I just. Out here, I, I, I'm going to need you to tone it down. OK, I'll shut up. Use your inside voice to I, calm down. You understand what I'm saying? 
I understand you had a bad hit. I have some. Don't talk to me, please. Don't talk to me. That's the free names when they call you, you're going to go over there where I'm what are you here for? If you've never been in trouble and this is your first DUI, they'll probably give you what's called an OR. They're going to let you out of here on your own. So hopefully you'll get to see the fight tonight. Well, I don't, you, you don't have tickets, right? I heard you had tickets. I did. But now you don't. Yeah. You don't need to tell me a story. Matter. That's OK. It's yeah, okay. It doesn't. I, I don't really need to tell a story. That's fine. Because God hasn't let me down yet. OK. At all. So. Okay. All right, come on this way. Okay. We'll get you straightened out here. This is open book, and this will be the next phase, okay? <coughs> someone from the court will talk to you, and the person from the court, someone is probably going to get the details to get you out of here. I'll get to it. Okay. You know, it's all good. Okay. Well, good luck. I don't need right. luck, but thanks. Okay, just go, so, then. No luck for you. Go. Go. Okay, just run. Off you go. Off you go. <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> Away with you. That's a unique individual there. Hopefully, you get to know our, so we'll see how it goes. It'll be based on his charges. 